Good afternoon. It's Ron Brown with Silvercom Computer and Technology Club. What is the best way to store your receipts? With your smartphone, it is so simple. Let me show you how to do this. Now, full disclosure, there are two types of people in the world. Those who use an accounting software called Quicken and those who don't. Gail and I used Quicken for over 30 years to manage our finances. It is a ritual in our house, like brushing our teeth. The transactions are entered, the receipts electronically filed, and I reconciled all the accounts at the end of the month. Most people don't do this. So my goal today is to show you how to use your smartphone to store your receipts. If you are a Quicken user, watch to the end and I will give you a couple of tips. Now, why should seniors want to save their receipts? Well, um, probably three reasons. One, uh, probably filing taxes. Uh, oftentimes you will want to keep your medical receipts in case you get audited. Also for large purchases, such as a refrigerator, you may want to keep that for warranty purposes. Also costly modifications to your homes. So there are some times when you will want to keep your receipts. Now what to do with your receipts? Well, I gave a class this last year, which was well attended. And I asked everybody, what do you do with your receipts? Very interesting question. And most people all answered the same way. They give them to their spouse. Well, what does the spouse do with them? The spouses weren't at the course, but I gather what spouses would probably do with their receipts is you may put them in a box. You may put them um, into a filing cabinet, or you might have an accordion sort of storage area that, is, uh, that has some um, identifiers on it, or you're just overwhelmed and they're all over your desk. Historically, people who were very obsessive would often scan their receipts with a scanner that traditionally has been in on, in printers. And this is a common way uh, of, of getting a paper a receipt into an electronic version. This is really, um, in the current uh, technology we have, not the best way to do it. It's very slow, tedious, and there are much better ways. I doubt that we'll be seeing in the future scanners on printers for much longer. Well, let's, uh, let's see what we can do. And probably the easiest thing to do with a receipt is to simply take a picture of it. Um, take, a, take your smartphone and take a picture of your receipt. <clears throat> on the right side, you'll see a receipt uh, from Coastal Eye Care. This was taken uh, with my Pixel 3 camera and you'll see the picture of the receipt is very clear. And this was taken in a dark room and just uh, no specific uh, preparation for it. And I just um, took, the, took a picture of that receipt. So taking a picture is a very simple thing to do for your, uh, for your receipts. The other thing you could do, uh, most of you now use Google Photos. So why not just scan your, your receipt with Google Photos using the Photo Scan app? So this is an example of using the Photo Scan app with the anti glare feature on. We'll show you how this works here. So if you watch the video, you'll see we're bringing up uh, um, Google Photos and you'll see at the bottom here is the photo scan software. We're now doing a photo scan with the uh, anti-glare feature on. And this brings up the four little dots. And as you've done before, I'm sure using this software, it will scan the picture in for you and save it into Google Photos. And there we have it done. And this is with the anti-glare feature on. And this is what the picture would look like. So uh, let's do another one. 
So now we're going to see, uh, this is um, using the same photo scan software with the anti-glare feature off. Let's see how this works. It's much faster, but will we get the same results? Here's our Google Photo. Again, we'll bring uh, the photo scan software up, which you'll see at the bottom here. And you will see that we are turning the anti-glare feature off and let's do a let's do a picture. So now we have uh, three pictures of the receipt. Uh, the center one was the one we just took with a plain photograph, which was extremely quick. We uh, have a picture on the left. The blacks are a little bit darker because the anti uh, glare feature was on. But again, I think the quality of the receipt's about the same. And over on the right, you see we have the one with the anti-glare feature off. The purpose of this, showing you this, was to show that probably just taking a plain old photograph is the best thing to do. It's fastest and easiest, so we really don't need to use the photo scan software. Now, if you uh, take pictures, uh, and you have Google uh, Photos on your uh, smartphone, you know that the pictures will go up into your photo library. So once they're all up into your photo library, you're probably going to want to make an album. Now we call them albums in Google Photos, and there are no subfolders. You can't put a folder in a folder in Google Photos. So you're going to have to be sort of creative on your, uh, on your naming. And there are some different thoughts on this. Uh, I've given some examples here. You could, for example, uh, make a, a, a folder up, an album up and call it receipts-house. And then you could make another um, album up and call it receipts-medical. So you'd have two, al two albums there. The advantage of keeping the first name the same is that searching would bring up all your albums as you get lots of these. You maybe in Google Photos have um, maybe several hundred albums, and you'll want to search them and quickly bring up the receipt folders, and that's a way of doing it. I also thought, uh, I also thought uh, you could do uh, the, um, uh, you could do docs.receipt, and all your uh, files, uh, your document files could be from, um, you could call it docs.receipts, docs.medical, an example of that, you could certainly do it that way. Or you could simply just put a R for a receipt and called R-house, an R-medical, and that would bring up all your albums. So you have to give a bit of thought about that because you can't put subfolders within the, um, within the albums. So think a bit about that before you start uh, making your albums to store your receipts in. Now, the next way that you can do this is by using uh, by using the Google Drive. And I would encourage you, this is a, a much better way of doing it, and I would encourage you to get the Google Drive app on your smartphone. Now, uh, when you go to Google Drive, the, you go to the Play Store, you'll be able to find Google Drive. It is an app, and you can download this and install it on your uh, smartphone. It's available in Android and iOS. So this is uh, how you would, you would do that. Now on my Google Drive, I've set up um, a folder called Receipts. So on my Google Drive, I have a folder called Receipts, and then within the Receipts folder, I have a subfolder called Medical. So we'll store our medical receipts in the folder, which will be in the folder called Receipts. And here it is on my Google Drive. You'll see at the top, it says, uh, uh, you'll see this is my Google Drive, and then you'll see my folder uh, called Receipts, and then this is the subfolder within Receipts where we're going to put the uh, $221 receipt. So this is the Google Drive app scanning the picture, there the receipt, into the medical folder. Let's see how that how you do that. So this is bringing up the Google Drive app. We come down and we're going to scan a new um, picture or receipt. And so here we are clicking the button. 
uh, it scanned it. And uh, that is what it looks like after it was um, uh, the picture was taken. And it's now going to give us an option to name it. And also we get to choose what folder we want to put it in. But of course, we're going to choose the medical folder. So now we're going to select the medical folder that you can see that we're that is here and we'll be selecting that and it's going to save this now uh, and it is even a faster way is to use a Google Drive widget. Does everyone know what a widget is? A widget is uh, like a macro for your apps and let me explain how this works. Here's what I found. So this is um, this is making a widget to scan directly into the Google Drive medical folder. Let's see how you would do that. So we're going to take uh, in any area on your phone and we're going to long press it and you'll come up with uh, a making widget app. You'll then come down to Google Drive. You'll see the Google Drive there. We'll click on that and it's going to make a little icon here. Well, it's going to first ask to select the uh, the folder that we want and we're going to call we're going to select the uh, the medical folder in receipts and then uh, the widget is made for us and now you'll see that we have um, a widget that we're going to put into our little folder called Google Drive so we have our Google Drive app here but we have the widget now when I take uh, a picture of the uh, of the receipt with this widget it is going to go directly into the medical folder it's not going to be uh, it's not going to ask you any questions about where to put it so this makes it much much quicker so let's see how that would go so let's um, so let's uh, see how this will go and we are going to um, uh, we're going to scan something with the widget right into the folder. This is bringing the uh, the widget up. We simply take a picture of the receipt and save it. And now it is being uploaded directly to the medical folder in our Google Drive. So you it's a it's just a faster way of getting your um, getting into the uh, getting your receipt into the medical folder. And again, this is the, uh, this is my drive, this is receipts, and this is where we're putting it into the medical folder. All right, so you may use Microsoft products, so you're going to use, you might want to store your receipts in OneDrive. Well, OneDrive has an app for your phone as well. You'll go to the Play Store or the iOS, and again, you will see the, um, the Microsoft app, which is available for your smartphone. You download and install it. Again, I've set up in my file directory in OneDrive, I've set up uh, OneDrive, I've made a folder called Receipts, and I've put a subfolder called Medical. Now, let's use the uh, OneDrive app to record and save. So you'll see here in my folder I have the OneDrive app. We'll start the uh, display now and this is going to bring up the, uh, <coughs> the, uh, the app and we're going to choose the folder called Medical and then we're going to click on the, uh, the, 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 the little icon, the camera there and it's going to take a picture of our um, receipt, the $221, and it's going to place it into the uh, medical folder. Now let's use the um, let's use the uh, OneDrive widget again. You can make a widget for the uh, for OneDrive. Let's see how that would work. Again, we're going to long press in the uh, blank area in the, on your phone and you'll see the widget menu come up. You're going to come down to OneDrive and we're going to choose the, uh, 
the, the widget icon and now we're going to come up and it's going to ask us to pin a, uh, a file to the widget and we're going to choose the medical directory as well. And so now we have a widget um, with um, that's going to scan directly into the medical uh, folder into our folder called um, medical. So on the uh, so on my uh, phone now I have uh, two widgets, one for general receipts and one for medical receipts. And when I use these two widgets, they scan it directly into those folders. If I use the OneDrive app, then it would uh, I'd have to choose the folder that I wanted it to go into. So let's see what happens when we use the OneDrive widget. It works about the same as the Google widget. We'll bring this up. We'll choose the medical widget. You'll see the folder is empty. And now you'll see us uh, scanning this receipt. It says it's done. And it will upload it into the medical file so you don't, medical folder so you don't have to choose. Lastly, I wanted to just give you a couple of tips for your for Quicken users. Um, I've used Quicken for about 30 years and traditionally I used to scan my receipts into the Quicken transactions. About four or five years ago, uh, Quicken developed an app, an app that you can use on your smartphone. This is not the full version of Quicken and has uh, uh, some unique purposes. It links back into the Quicken software, which runs on your Windows PC. This is called Sync to Mobile, and it is the Quicken app that you can download and install on your smartphone. It works very well. And what happens is, is when you're uh, in a restaurant or whether you, you're in a location where you want to uh, save a receipt, you simply bring up the uh, mobile app on your phone. It actually knows where you are by geolocating and puts the restaurant actually in the payee section. It, you just fill in the amount and then you can add a receipt by uh, clicking, um, uh, clicking to take the picture of the receipt. It then uploads the file into the Quicken Cloud. When you're now on your Windows 10 PC, you can click Sync to Mobile, and the Sync to Mobile will uh, download the transaction and the attached image and put it right into your Quicken accounting software. This works very well and is a cool feature that unfortunately I just discovered this last year. So I wanted to give everybody that tip. So in summary, what's the one thing you need to do with receipts? That's store them electronically. It's so easy to do now rather than keeping them as paper files. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's Ron Brown with Silvercon Computer and Technology Club. Enjoy your day.